Yep, let's save our data. All right, we got nothing else to do, so let's just fin off, get into this. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. What's that? So listen up. If you can figure out Mukuro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win. But if you can't, then I win. Okay. And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super heart pounding punishment. Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Yep, sure will. Oh, damn, okay. And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Is the mastermind? Only one person? Hmm? Don't bother. I already know the answer. Oh, wow, okay. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? <laughs> You're all out to get me! <laughs> right, aren't I? I knew it! Alright, here we go. Together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Hey, you stole my line. <laughs> You're all out to get me. I'm sure of it. I have evidence of my own. What a coincidence. I have evidence that proves everyone. What? What? Well, this doesn't make any sense. How could the three of us each have that kind of evidence? Oh, come on. I fucking. Ah! All right. I got it. I know where we're going. Proves it. Yep. All right. So, you guys fast forward. Right oh, you're all out to get me. I have evidence. What a coincidence. Evidence that proves everything. We all have evidence. How can the three of us each have No, it's wrong. I got it. It's a group photo. It's not just you three. I have evidence too. What? You two? <laughs> We've been tricked. Bamboozled. The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. Uh huh. With the picture you have, I'm in it. Yup. So we all thought bad of each other when we should have learned our goddamn lesson by now. But that can't be right. Because in my picture. See? I'm the only one not in it. Yeah, look at that. Look at Sakura just tearing up the goddamn track. That's off Makoto for like making it through though. Yeah, it's much, much case. Hero, you have a picture too, right? Let's see it. I want to see it. Okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. And every time Junko's face is covered, she's either turned away or has her face covered by like someone. This one too, it's just like I thought. So the secret in these pictures has been revealed. So the person was just taking the picture at that point? Secret or whatever, I don't care. You guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. But you're in my picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. Y'all are stupid as fuck. So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think I everyone see else was working against him. us. Huh? I laid a trap? Mm -hmm. A trap? How rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? All the evidence. But a certain something popped. This connection regarding what person isn't shown. Me. I got it. Yeah. In each case, 
The only one not in the picture is the person who received it. Uh-huh. So, in the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. And again, Junko's face is covered. Seems off. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. And in the picture Hero got, he's the only one missing. As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you yeah, my Yeah, let's see the photo of Yakia. See it, I wanna see it, I wanna see it. <laughs> Is she hit the a fish? Words, Wait, no, bring that picture back. Each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. And when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy? Precisely. <laughs> Figured it out, huh? It wasn't that hard. Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? You know, there's something more to this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. There's something else that bothers me about everyone's picture. It's the game. The fact that we're all participating in a school and seem to have known each other in some way. Hey, listen, can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Or that Junko is sure, covered no up every time? Yeah, I don't mind. Mukuri Kasabas and Eve, every one of them? I don't usually about these group photos, but I need to each of them one more time. Picture. Okay, I want to pause on this one because I love this one. I'm honestly I'm trying to remember the. One sec. I think I might have taken it, but anyway. Oh, my controller's being stupid again, as per usual. Oh my god, this is getting frustrating. Hina's picture. Hero's picture. And mine. There's something strange about all of them. Something I can't work it down. Again, there's like multiple strange things about him. You have to be more specific here, bud. Something. Can you just forget about the photo already? Ugh. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo? I'm still pissed about that. And on top of that... They went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. Hmm? So you think they're fake? <laughs> no, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? We There's all no lived way. here before, honey. Yeah, I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's gotta be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Yeah, can we? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either, but is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? Yeah, we've already discussed that there might be memory issues with Kyoko. Who's to say we don't all have memory issues? What do you mean? We already know Toko's got them. I don't remember taking this picture necessarily because it's fake. There might be some other reason, some terrible reason, an unbelievable and entirely horrifying reason. Oh, we're gonna do Hung Names Gavin. Okay, I was like, prepper. I'm like, ah, what am I gonna have to think about? What kind of argument do I have to make? Amnesia! Alright. Am. Am. I mean, S. Then it's S I A. I'm, I don't know why my brain forgot how to spell amnesia for a second. Okay. Amnesia! Now I understand. Let's say that somehow we'd all lost our memories. 
That could explain it. Yes, it? it could. Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. I mean, it could. As if. Do you expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult type story? Really? Yeah. yeah. We all lost our memories? That's just crazy. We've been murdering each other for like a week. How is that crazy? They wouldn't believe it, but no matter how much time they refuse, it's uh, that's the absolute truth. They have no choice. They can't move forward until they accept it. There's another way to prove it besides those pictures. Lockers! You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Oh, Ever yes. since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. Do you? No. Do you really? Because I have proof that you don't. Those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. This DVD does the same thing. You're damn right it does. You're gonna show us something indecent, are you? What is wrong with you, Toko? No, it's nothing like that. Fucking weirdo. Shut up. God damn it. It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. When you say all of us, you mean... I mean all of us, including you. Including you. You lie! I never did any kind of interview. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the Good DVD thing there's a TV in here. Yourself. The headmaster did, in fact, interview you. Yeah, he and I. What are you saying? I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. Kind of. Do you expect me to believe all this? That I... I lost my memory somehow? After being in this school, anything seems very possible. Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. How can you say that? We're talking about living, breathing amnesia here! <laughs> to be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the Headmaster, right? Yes. What were the interviews about? The Headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. Pretty crazy, right? What question is that? And how did we answer? We said no, obviously. Actually, we all said we could. Bum, bum, bum. Even me, I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. That must be the understand Why? that like back thing he yes was having earlier. Like that? I don't know. I don't remember a thing. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. You don't remember choosing to live here forever, or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? We don't know the context, though. Now do we, Mr. Hero? That's just insane. How can I believe that? Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? You sure are, because it's all true. Day it it is. What? I know it sounds absurd, but... If it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed. Uh -huh. We only have one path in front of us. Solving these mysteries. Hey, <laughs> really? Yep. You all totally lost your memory at the same time. This is all... making my head hurt. You're not alone there, and you this know. This isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Don't know how they did that. That seems very improbable, but whatever. Oopsie. You figured that part out too, huh? Uh -huh. Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. Yeah, unless we all just happen to get conked in the head really hard, and even then, I don't know if that's what they would cause. How could someone just steal our memories? Easy. They've already locked us in a school and made us murder each other. It's not hard to imagine. How? Come, come, come. That hardly matters. 
yours right now. Oh, they mean how in like the actual physical sense. In which case, yeah, I agree. How the hell? If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? I'd believe anything right now. Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? So, <laughs> I knew I could count on you. The interview with the headmaster, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. To make us want to kill each other, because if we had all the memories of being close to each other, we wouldn't want to murder each other. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. You mean the motive you came up with to try and get us to all kill each other? That has something to do with the memories you stole from us? That wasn't the money one. Oh! That was the video one. Where, like, we all found out what was going on inside. <laughs> it sure does! This is the tragedy. He didn't want us remembering the but tragedy. still a secret. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mokuro Ikusaba. Okay, so, so, all right. so you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else? So until we do that, we'll... Either way, we have to explain every last remaining mystery. So, the one who killed him throw the true mastermind, the one we need to expose. Profile and... So who did it? Who killed her? Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. That much I'm sure of. But when you think about it, is the mastermind really here in the school? Of course! They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? Um... Make me so sure. Exactly. You're just making stuff up. There's no way the mastermind is here. Nope. All right, we got ours. The mastermind is probably a milk. Nope. They're in no. the control room. That's how Monokuma is doing his thing. There's no question that the mastermind is somewhere within the school. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? Yes, we did actually. Me and Nina. In the back of the data center. I found a panel that controls Monokuma. The mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time. So okay. there can't be any doubt. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. And the mastermind there is one of the students. any doubt. In which case, there also can be no doubt that the mastermind is one of us. But not one of us right here, right now. That means someone is faking their death. What? Why? Recall what Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. I'm sure I told you this already, but the skilling game out of 16 participants, and the only one to be able to just take a step, single step and help speak since skilling game again are those 16 students. So if the mastermind uh. is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. But how'd they manage to survive all of this? That's the thing, they didn't. They're a zombie. Are the only ones here? It's not me! I'm not the mastermind! We know it's not any of us! Well, it's not me! I blame Makoto! Shut the fuck up! What? Why me? Cuz! It's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed! I was literally saved by Alter Ego, so shut the fuck oh, up! Oh, I get it! The only way he could have survived is if he was actually the mastermind himself, right? Aw, uh, nuts! You got me! Shut up, you. Wait! What are you trying to say? Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. Thank you, Kyoko. The Mastermind's true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. That's a good point. Rather than wasting time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving this mystery. And then all will become clear, because we have to solve it anyway. Yeah, well, how much time have we already spent talking about the murder? He's right. What more is there to talk about? Funny more, are we seeing the body? Though you passed out. If you want something to talk about, I think there might be one thing. We haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Yeah. Huh? But I thought we figured that out. 
She died when she got hit in the back of the head. Did she? No. That isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? I would. <sighs> okay. And the other one. I got it! All of the wounds covering her body. That's what really killed her. What did I miss so hard? Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? Yeah. Uh, these are at least several days old. It made it pretty clear. Those wounds were made at least a few days ago. But it didn't say what killed her, so those wounds very much so they can't possibly her. be what killed her. Bullshit. Consider this. What if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? Aha! Uh -huh. what? Yeah. what if, when we discovered her body, she'd already been dead for several days? We already know there's a place to store these bodies. If that's true, then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. That doesn't make any sense. How does it not? Because, because she had all those wounds before she ever came here. How do you know that? You never met her. Huh? How do you know that? Isn't it obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So that means... Now we have her profile, though. You know. You're wrong. <laughs> she denied me. <laughs> before I could even say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I mean, you think I'm. This girl's fucked up, man. I'm not weird, okay? At least listen to what I have to say before you deny me! You sure we're gonna deny you? Why bother saying it in the first place? Alright, so we have her profile that says she never had a mark on her. She was. Her, uh, yeah. Mukuro was the ultimate soldier. She must have been in a hundred different battles. So, when you think about it, obviously, she got all those wounds in Oh, come on! How did I fucking I miss? You didn't deny that. Alright, so hey, we're gonna worry. go back to the beginning. We're gonna do it again. Uh, spinning nightmare. Uh, okay. I know exactly. Mukuro was... She must have been... So, obviously, she got all... No bullshit, no, I have proof. <laughs> no, Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. Uh -huh. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir, when she entered this school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. It's been denied so completely. Kind of refreshing. This is getting weird. <gasps> Maybe it's because of all of Master's training. Sure, whatever. Anyway, so we Moving can on. be sure that Mukuro suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. Thank God In we're getting case, somewhere. They could be the very thing that killed her. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. When examining her body, I found that her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. Unless anyone has any better suggestions. I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. Aha, yes! Now we can shut the fuck up, finally. But if that's what killed her, then does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? Most likely, That's yes. exactly what it means. When we found her body in the garden, she'd already been dead for several days. So then, what about the little matter of what happened last night? Oh, yeah. Makoto, you said you were attacked in your room by a masked assailant. But they didn't have the tattoo on their hand, did they? If Mukuro had already been dead for several days, certainly it couldn't have been her. So who was it that attacked you? I don't know. Must be the mastermind. The one who attacked me was the true mastermind. Yeah. <clears throat> When we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask, I, I naturally us. assumed she must have been the one who attacked me, but I was wrong. It wasn't her at all. It was the mastermind. Yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Us. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. 
Okay, go for Let's it. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. Uh... You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, that's the whole point of a mask. We know who it wasn't. The true identity of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least, that's Again, what I no think. no tattoo on the very clearly seen hand. <laughs> Do you have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? You said you're getting impatient, you're making this take longer. Attack me, you ever didn't see their face. They had no friend with your tattoo. Here's how to spend your career to mess attacker. It should be obvious. Oh, we gotta do this? Can we just say that she didn't have a friend with your tattoo? God damn it. saw their face, right? Right. So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. Fair, I'm I guess. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba. Right, I'm gonna You're wait wrong. to see. Even without seeing their face, there's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Oh? And what is this other part? Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Maybe the right foot! Or perhaps the left foot! Right hand. Or could it be... the hips? I mean, hips don't lie, Shakira taught us that. You never saw their face, so you can't have any idea! I'm telling you now, it was Muku- No it wasn't, motherfucker, and you know it! Stop taking this, making this take longer than it needs to take. Mukuro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly. A representation of Fendu. In other words, a wolf tattoo. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. Because I did this weird thing with the knife. And there was no such tattoo. Correct. So there's no way the person behind the mask was Mukuro. Oh, I now know why I lost hearts as in the gambit. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, well, okay. That just, like, got, got to me. I guess it wasn't her. Yeah, no shit. No, shut I mean, up. That still doesn't prove that it was me. It could have been, you know, someone else, right? Hiro, <laughs> Shoko, Hina, and I all have solid alibis for that entire night. Yep, and Kyoko came into my rescue. Yeah, we were in the gym tearing you apart, so it could have been any of us. Exactly. Oh, okay, sure. It couldn't have been any of you, but what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. Uh-oh, no snappy comeback. Did I score a bullseye? If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Show me what? Her hands! What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. Before she could, anyone could say anything. <clears throat> Kyoko's removing her Your hands. hands! Without thinking, I let out a gasp. It was more than just a little burnt Awful, skin. Awful, isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. Yoko seemed to savor the words as she said them. Then she put her gloves back on. Well, we know it wasn't her. My scars should suffice as proof. Yep, yep, yep. Those definitely Makoto, don't look like scarred hands. Did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? Nope. No, not at all. I'm positive. Positively positive. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. Exactly. <laughs> this is just awful. On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours. Okay, we get it. You're a jerk. Uh, Shut up. Sorry. Did I say that out loud? I do hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Sure, as long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? I'm not cornered just yet. Because okay. if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally Ooh. unknown. That's true. 
All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. On the contrary, we don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Then somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. And after she died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? Did the culprit stash her somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? The bio lab. If she was, she would have been totally decomposed. Just like your brain. Rude, but okay. Then, she was being stored somewhere? The bio lab. Uh, to hide a body here. To just store it somewhere? One place I can think of anywhere else about a good event. The bio lab! Oh Mukuro's body was probably kept hidden in the bio lab. Exactly. Bio lab? You mean on the fifth floor? Because we couldn't get into it when we first got up there. That's right. It's actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body. And it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Mm -hmm. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. With the tire. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. Yes, we do. It just shows the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden. There's something that needs to make its way from the bio lab to the garden. Tart. I got it! <laughs> what makes me so sure the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is the tarp that we found in the garden. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Oh, bio lab. it says bio lab. Yep, yep, yep. Holy cow! How'd you notice that tiny little thing? Makoto's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. It has indeed. Thank you, This Yakuya. proves that the tarp originally came from the bio lab. In fact, there's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. Uh-huh. So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers and put the coat on it afterwards. You made everything sound so amazingly consistent. <laughs> That's just a wild guess! Is it, though? Here's your evidence. Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved. There is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind? Okay, yeah, because we counted nine. I meant to at the time count up who has died so far. So we have Sayaka and Leon, and Chihiro and Mondo, and then Ifumi, Taka, and Celeste, and then Sakura, and then Mukuro, but we're missing Junko. Or at least that's who we have assumed, so it could be any one of those, I guess. But I guess it's Junko, because themes seem on weird with her with those pictures. You see, the bio lab contained an inconsistency. One so major it can't be overlooked. I can't hear you! La 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 la! Oh, we have to do that fucking Such battle shit. Oh well, just ignore him. Hey, by the way, Makoto, what about that one thing? Can you shut up? What one thing? Don't let him talk to you, Makoto. Just, just ignore him. <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Shut up! Your family. Bro, let's not get dragged into this right now. Oh my god, Makoto, don't be stupid. <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. <laughs> so what do you think? Are you sure your family's Why still does that okay? matter right now? It says no current relevance to the case. Now? 
that conjecture shit they talk about in court or something like that. It, it's not relevant. It's irrelevant to the case. Your mom, your dad, your little sister. What do you think has happened to your family? Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Oh my god. Stop talking about that! Makoto, ignore Calm him. down, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. Exactly. Calm down. I can't let him get to me. He's just angry because he knows we're getting close to the truth of the biology. I'll shut him up. I need to expose inconsistent and slam him with it. This has to be the one area where the numbers just don't match up. It's the fucking... I gotta do this. Moment of truth. Oh, we gotta do this. Oh, you gotta be fucking getting me. Alright. Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? That's impossible! 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 I'm not listening! What the fuck? Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Okay, what? I'm not listening! By a lab light. Go. This should prove it. God. Ugh. I remember what the biolab secret was. The inconsistency Kyoko's talking about is... The lights! talking about uh, what about the lights like i said before the bio lab also acts as a morgue uh -huh. and as part of that a giant refrigerator was installed in there that's where everyone who's died is stored and it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it a blue light would turn on but there's only nine of us if the blue light is on that means there's a body in that slot exactly but oh. I counted up the number of blue lights that were on, including the one Mukuro was in, and there were only nine. That should be ten. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. This doesn't make sense. Number of lights there should be is ten. I got it! Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Yep, yep, yep. Suspicious? Yeah. That's the amount of people who should be dead. That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it should become clear. That's right, the key to solving this mystery. Sayaka died first. And Junko the second. Leon was executed. Hiro died fourth. And Mondo was executed fifth. And then Taka and Hifumi, six and seven. Celeste so was executed for number eight. Sakura died, leaving us number nine. And number ten would be Mukuro. Hmm. Ten people so in all. Ten people in all? That's right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. Exactly, exactly, exactly! But according to the lights in the bio lab, only nine people were being stored there. You're saying a dead body just up and disappeared? I got it! The masterminds destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body, since they actually killed her. And yet, her body was left alone. Then, whose body disappeared? It may very well be that none of them disappeared. But if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match? Including Monokuma's executions, there have apparently been ten deaths, but there were only nine bodies. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? Murders, murders, and victims. Why is that? Why was it? Same person was killed twice. What about if the same person was killed twice? <gasps> killed twice? Officially. 
10 murders have been committed so far. But one of the victims may have been murdered, and then murdered again. I think I know who it is. I think it's Mufro. I think Mufro stood in for one of the bodies. Murdered and murdered again? And I'm betting you, based on that picture we got of all the cuts, it's Junko. If that's the case, there could have been 10 killings, but still only 9 victims, right? Technically, you're right, I guess. Still, something like that could easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? It was Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. I think I'm right that's here. why the body had to be stored in the bio lab until the moment we found it in the garden. No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on! Is it though? Besides, who could that someone else even have been? All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers, and that will become obvious. Nothing's gonna become <laughs> obvious, because Kyoko's totally delusional! Nope, we're red on the fucking money here, baby. Who is this someone else that Mukuro so was So many. Cool? Was it Sayaka Maizono? Junko Enoshima, Leon Kuwata, Chihiro Fujisaki, Mondo Owada, Kiyotaka Ishimaru, Kifumi Yamada, Celestia Lu, whatever, Lindenberg. or maybe Sakura Ogami? No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice! So I think we gotta highlight Junko and bring that back, because I think it's her. Who is this some was it? Sayaka Maizono? Junko Enoshima? Leon Kuwata? Chihiro Mondo? Kiyotaki Fumi? Celestial? Or maybe? No, no, no. There's no way anyone. Bullshit, motherfucker, and I have you caught in a lie. Junko. Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? Uh-huh. What do you mean? She got well, stabbed a bunch. Remember what happened to her? She was impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. And Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her body. Uh -huh. When you compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered... And the similarities match? Yes, and those are the only fatal injuries that match up. That explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. <laughs> so let me see if I have this straight. Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Yep, yep. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Hi, hi. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be the same injury. It's really true? Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Wait, so then... <clears throat> what does it all mean? It means that there haven't been ten victims, but nine. Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. Junko. And that's the true identity of the Mastermind? It Who is, is it? indeed! Who's behind all this? Do we already know the answer to that? No. It's, it's Mukuro. Her body's dead, you dumb bastard! Yuko's body! Uh. And made it look like she was the one who died! So, Mukuro is still alive! Also... She's Which gonna one is be... it? Junko or Mukuro? A little silence? Then I must be right. I'm right, aren't I? 
not alive. The one that's still alive is Mugru, but I can't believe that. No, there's no way, there's no way Mugru with the is still alive. Uh, this goes on so much. The body we found in the garden. It was Mugru. She had the it tattoo. It wasn't Mugru. Then she's still alive? That's right. She's so the mastermind's true identity is. Look her up. What do you say, Monokuma? Hmm. All right, so I think we have to defeat her on that first level. The body we found in the garden. It wasn't Mukuro. Bullshit. It no, was Mukuro. Well. Again, the tattoo. We literally discussed this at the beginning of this goddamn trial. No. The body we found in the garden was Mukuro. That's one thing we can be sure of. So it's Junko. The body's appearance and measurements are consistent with her records. Right, Kyoko? She was 5 foot 6 inches tall and weighed 97 pounds. Her vitals were 31, 21, 32. Everything in her profile is consistent with that corpse. And then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. So there's no question it's her. <laughs> If Mukuro is not the mastermind, then... So many made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. The only person who could be... Junko! Here's my answer! Junko is still alive! It's the only possibility! Indeed! Are you sure about that? And hundred percent, we have to call this into question. Uh, I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other explanation. Who else could it be, motherfucker? <laughs> but we saw her get impaled. She died right before our very eyes. Then that was Mukuro playing as Junko, you dumb fuck. They're both the fucking despair bis bastards. If Junko were still alive, the death we saw would had to have been some kind of charade. Or it was M Mukuro dressed up as Junko like we just said! But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? I did, but I didn't confirm that it was Junko herself because we couldn't have done that! Oh my god, this is so frustrating. She was in the movies, oh my gosh, she's really dead, holy shit. I did check, absolutely, and I can say for sure, she was dead. dead, there's no question there's Junko no was question. dead, but it's not Junko, Junko it was Mukuro! Was dead. So, the idea that she's still alive, it must be wrong. Then you're withdrawing your previous statement? <laughs> I know you gave it your best shot, but too bad! I guess your conclusion was a dud! <laughs> too bad, too bad! This case hasn't been decided just yet. Oh? You haven't given up already, have you, Makoto? I sure fucking hope not. Huh? No, of course not. There's no way I'd give up that easy. That's all well and good, but how do you intend to solve the problem standing in your way? Junko absolutely died. Mukuro absolutely died. Then both of them are dead, right? There can't be any kind of survivor story! I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. Huh? The opposite direction? Let's assume Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? How could Junko have survived? Checked if she was dead, I'm sure of it. So if she were alive, so maybe Junko's not the one that died. It wasn't Junko, someone else entirely. It was, oh my god, Mukuro! Ugh, this is gonna be so frustrating. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It should be us now. Replaces? Right. Replaced. Okay, replaced. Okay. Now I understand. Past sense, right. Past sense. That's it! What if she switched places with someone else? Switched places? That's right! Before the spears could kill her, she got someone to take her place! Specifically, 
Mukuro Ikusaba. Yeah. Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything match Mukuro's profile, right? Correct. I don't know anything about this switching places thing, but... That had to be Junko who got stabbed to death, right? No, it didn't. Yeah, you're saying they switched? When could they even have done that? Before they even got to the school. Right when she was uh, about to die? Like she <laughs> used some kind of ninja replacement technique? No. Good point. There's just no way they could have switched like that. Oh, y'all are so Maybe stupid. Y'all are so stupid right now. I'm gonna figure out how to explain how they could have switched. This is the beginning. I judge! Two of them may have switched places from the very beginning. What? From the beginning? Yes. Yes. From the moment we first met. If that's when they switched. then they wouldn't have had to switch at the moment of death, right? I'm getting so tired of watching this down the screen, by the After way. After all, the one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Exactly. But hold on. So you're saying the Junko we first met is actually Mukuro all along? Then we already met her? I had, like, a normal conversation with her. Freaky, right? When we first met, none of us knew who anyone else was. So Mukuro could have simply told us her name was Junko. And we never would have known the difference. Yep, yep, yep. That would easily allow the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. Wait, but Mukuro had a tattoo on the back of her hand, right? Yeah. Junko never had any tattoo like that, did Makeup. she? Makeup. But she'd have the nails. She could have hidden it with foundation or something like that. Exactly. If she did, it likely melted away in the explosion, exposing the tattoo after the body was extinguished. Yep. Plus, there were the fake nails found on the hands of Mukuro's body. Who else had fake nails like that? They were the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met for the first time. But if she really did use foundation... Correct. Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. So I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. But too bad for you, Monokuma. You can't deny it anymore. Yeah, Monokuma. Wait, so this whole thing was a setup from the very beginning? Yes, obviously. If that's true, it was quite an elaborate plan to be sure. The reason such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. So Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up with someone like her. In other words, it would be fair to say that Junko herself was also the ultimate despair. Uh-huh. What's wrong? Lost the will to fight back? I think he's just afraid. Afraid? What's that mean, afraid? Fear is only possible where hope is possible. I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Sure, whatever you think. Why yourself, haven't you weirdo. been saying anything? Because it's a bunch of nonsense. Junko's my secret identity. <laughs> As if. Then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? I tried to protect your identity? When did I do that? So he doesn't admit it, but he's trying to see if it's all he wants, it doesn't matter. I've already figured it out. I tried to hide Junko's identity, and not just once, but twice. First time was during the class. Oh! Your photo. Shoot! What the fuck? But. Mm. Alright, fine. Uh. Uh, I don't fucking know right now. The tarp! Was it the tarp? Shoot! No, it wasn't the tarp! 
I'm gonna die so many times in this stupid fucking part. And it's gonna drive me goddamn crazy. All right, we're trying this again. All right, back to the top. Let's fucking go. Yeah, we're gonna try it again. Let's keep going. Is it this one? No, it wasn't this one either. God, I fucking hate this fucking part. Uh, is, it, is it the present? Is this a fucking pre- I don't know! I don't know what it is! It's driving me insane, and I'm like literally breaking down right now. I'm gonna look it up, because I'm done trying to figure this out like a smart person. Uh. I got it. Fuck this game, dude. Fuck this room. game. Watching the DVD of our interviews with the headmaster. Oh right, I forgot about that. God, I fucking hate this game right now. Uh Mono the DVD player itself apparently turned out the first time the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What was that just happened? He popped up. Oh, so looks like it's out of broken. Oh, it's broken. Oh no, guy, it happens. That's what it is. No, you totally fucking did it. You made sure Fuck I that. finish watching the video, and the reason you did that. Like, I'm sure if I thought about that long enough, I could have figured that out, but that was the most bullshit fucking thing I've had to deal with in this goddamn game so far. It's because you didn't want me to see the real Junko, did you? Oh, yeah! If everyone was in that video, of course Junko would have had to show up! And if Makoto saw the real Junko, it would have been totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter! Uh-huh. But that whole power outage thing was just a fluke! Uh-huh, sure. That was something the mastermind definitely orchestrated that power outage, and that's not the only time to try that Junko. <laughs> so better reveal that. No, I don't. I don't. Can we just please not do it? <laughs> no. <laughs> How many times am I gonna have to do this stupid mini game that I already fucking hate? <laughs> Getting so flustered, I need to breathe. What? What do you want? What? What do you want? God. That's impossible. What? 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 No! 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 Fuck you! Fuck you! Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding? Oh my- I refuse <laughs> That's impossible! Is it this one? This should prove it. Okay, thank god it's this one. Oh my god, I was gonna be so mad if I failed that again. The video wasn't the only thing you tried to cover up. I forgot you we were trying to prove the next thing. That's my follow. bad. I noticed it just a little while ago, when we were all comparing the photos we'd gotten. In all the photos, there's a spread. What's so unusual about them? Uh, so Jingo's covered every time. She's splash in the face, she's turned around twice, or she's getting covered up by Taka's arm. Jingo's face. Junko's face, the one thing common to every single photo, is that you can't see her face. Can we please be almost done with this? I'm getting so tired of this right now. Yep, there she is. There she is again, not being seen. Oh, look at that. Covered up face again. Uh-oh. It's hard to believe her face would just happen to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? And on top of that... In this photo, you can see that Mukuro is clearly visible. So in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. Uh-huh. With all that in mind, there's no doubt that the girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. Which is why you had to have pictures that didn't show her face. Yep. Because if we could have seen her face, then it would have clearly revealed... 
that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. Yep. I believe everything Makoto said is true. Damn Junko right it is at this point. switched places before we met either of them. So she killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, making it look like she died. And the real Junko is still alive. And oh. she's the one behind this whole murderous situation. This killing game. She's the true the mastermind and the ultimate despair. Yeah, two times two! With this, the identity and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed. No, no, wait, hold on! Don't bother trying to deny it. There's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. Yeah. I'll prove everything right now. We're gonna do that closing argument shit. Okay. Oh my god, I'm going to hate this one so fucking much, but here we go. Alright, so we meet Junko, and uh, we have to find. Okay, so it's gotta be this one's first. Can't fit anything else. And then she dies, but it's actually Mukuro. Surprise, surprise. I don't know which one goes there, so we'll hold off on that one. It might be this one, but last time I tried to put a similar one in, it didn't work. So we have the attempted murder of Makoto. This one will go here. And later. No, this one. This one goes here. And... Knife goes here? I'm not getting this right, because I'm going to be so mad if I fail this. Maybe it is the body going in. Hold on. Two more do we have to do? Two more. So that's when we have the exploded body. Here's where we have the dead body. So yeah, I think it might be this one up here at the front. Please let this be right. I'm Jesus, not in the mood to be fucked happened? around with anymore. Everyone's meeting. We met the ultimate fashionista, Junko and Oshima, right after we all arrived. But that wasn't the real Junko. The girl we saw <gasps> before us was actually the 16th student who had taken Junko's place. And that girl's name was Mukuro Ikusaba. But it wasn't long before she died at the hands of Monokuma. In other words, the mastermind, Junko and Oshima. Yep, yep. Good. Her body was kept in a bio lab, which had been converted into a morgue until Junko decided to put her body to use. Junko dragged the body out of the bio lab using the tarp to carry her to the garden. She fabricated the murder to try and friend Kyoko, who proven to be one big thorn in her side. Here's where I'm gonna get hit. She wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. Oh, oh we're good so far. So we're golden so far. And then attack. Making sure I'd gotten a good look at the mask, she left the room. Then she put the same mask on Mukuro's body. This was all to make us think the person who attacked me and the corpse were one in the same. 
She wanted us Weapon to believe rings. the murder had only recently taken place. Here's the bomb. And there we go. We Finally, did it on the first try for once. To the body, she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. She needed to hide the body's true identity. She had to make sure we didn't find out it was actually the same person we'd met in the beginning. This is the truth behind Mufaro's murder, and the one who carried it all out is the true mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. Ba -ba -bum. It's you! The real Junko and Oshima! Uh, can we beat up with the game now? <laughs> That's the whole story behind this incident. Well, what do you have to say? What? Are you broken again? You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Oh, I'm guessing she's coming here Come now on. or something. It's time you finally revealed yourself. It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan to keep hiding? Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Over? Or not? What the fuck? <laughs> Did you really think the story would end once we reach the climax of the case? What? Wrong! There's still no, please God, I want to go. go. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs>